Hey there, sixth graders, and welcome to this video where I'm going to go through and talk about what you have to get done today when I am not here in class. So let's dig right in and begin. All right, the number one thing, which I mentioned to you guys yesterday if you were in class, was this reading guide that needs to get done. The reading guide we started last week. You're using the books in the back of the room. You were working in groups. All that is still in play. You can do all of those things. You can work with the people that you're working with. Here's the big thing, and this is really important, so listen up. This is the last chance you get to work on it, and it's the only thing that is due at the end of the period. So this is it. You need to make sure that you and your group are keeping each other on track so that you get this done, because I am going to grade it after today as is meaning if you have one question answered then you're getting one out of 13 points no chance to make it up for the fourth quarter not really the way you'd want to start the fourth quarter this is something we've been working on you can do this i'm not there that does not mean that work stops you need to be able to keep working when i'm not there so this is really important that you get this done okay so i'm going to say that again whatever you don't get done uh, whatever is finished by the end of the period, I'm grading it as it is, and there's no chance to redo it, make it up extra credit. So don't waste your time. Stay on track and get this done. Okay. So there are, the books are in the back. If you remember here, let me shrink myself here a little bit. It's right here. Reading guide motion from March 11th is when we did that. Okay. All right. Next. On the Edpuzzle site would be an Edpuzzle. And on that Edpuzzle, there we go. On the Edpuzzle site, you would find a new one, and it's called Distance Versus Time Graphs. Now, this is an eight-minute or so Edpuzzle, which is about double the length of what we normally do for an Edpuzzle. But it's really important to go through. It's reviewing some of the same things we've talked about yesterday with Ristow's journey and how to interpret and understand what's happening when you're looking at a distance versus time graph. That will be due on Friday. It is this week's homework. It is a grade that will go for the fourth quarter, not for this quarter, but for the fourth quarter. So please make sure that you're working on that after you finish the reading guide. For this Ed puzzle, you may not work with each other. So if you are working on the reading guide with a group, you will have to leave your group Go back to your seat. If your seat isn't available because someone else is there because they're still working on the reading guide, just find a seat somewhere in the room and work on the Ed Puzzle. But you have to work on it independently on your own. That is not group work. Again, that's due Friday. It's going to be due Friday by 8.15, so when advisory ends on Friday. If you get done with both of those things and there is still some time left, you can begin to look at Ristow's journey, the questions at the end of the lab. So Ristow's journey here back in Google Classroom. And when you click on this doc, we did the data chart and then we also did the graph, right? So yours should be filled out here. And then just like me, you should have a graph in there and you can change the size if you need to. But we did not do this analysis and interpretations. And so there are a bunch of questions here underneath. So your job is to go through and work on those questions again independently. And what I want you to do is think about what you learned in the Ed Puzzle. Think about what we did yesterday with our colored pencils. In fact, you can even use your Wrist Out Journeys graph that we printed out and colored in and labeled to help you answer these questions. Okay? So reading guide, number one main priority. Last time you get to work on it has to be done before class ends. Second thing is the Ed Puzzle. That's independent, and that's due Friday by 8.15 a.m. Third thing is this, Ristow's journey, the analysis and interpretation questions. Not for homework. We'll have some other class time to work on it later this week. All right, make sure you're staying on track. Make sure you are listening to the sub. Be flexible. Remember, this she, This is the first time that the sub is in my room, so they don't know um, how the classroom runs. So however they wanted to do, handle it today is the way you just got to go with it. Make sure you're, you're doing your work, um, and I will see you guys on Wednesday when I'm back. Have a good day.